Yes, yes, yes. How we doing, guys? Got my my buddy Bailey here. How we doing, girl? And the guest appearance by Casey. Usually not on camera. What's up, dude? How we doing? So, in a previous video, we talked about the funder proposal and why community and mindset are so important. And I started to talk a little bit about some professional athletes and the difference between professional athletes and how you can see you know, how mindset really makes a big difference. And the two that come to mind for me are Tiger Woods. Now you had to expect that. I am a golf pro. Okay. And Michael Vick. How appropriate they got me. My two pups here. All right. Um, but take a look at the difference between the two legacies that these guys are leaving behind. All right. Tiger Woods, besides being the greatest golfer on the planet right now, is really making a difference in a lot of people's lives, a lot of charities, a lot of foundations, you know, obviously does a lot of good work uh, outside the golf course. And if you look at how he was brought up and the environment he was brought up in, it was almost a slam dunk. I mean, yes, he's got talent beyond belief. You know, not everybody's going to have the talent of Tiger Woods, you know, to play golf the way he plays. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of stuff outside of the golf that comes from mindset, comes from environment. I mean, from the time he was a kid, it was drummed into him by his father. Of how especially you know, his father saw a special talent in him and it's a lot of special gifts. And it was drummed into him of how special he was and how many people's lives he was going to touch and change. And I would say by the time Tiger was a teenager, he knew, you know, in his heart of hearts, he was going to change people's lives. And if you look at his mannerisms and, and how he holds himself and how he presents himself and, and everything he does, he still knows that. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's changing lives left and right. If you look at his foundations and all the things that he does. And like I said, the mindset has got a lot to do with it. From day one, it was drummed into his head of how special he was and what he was going to be. And you hear that enough, you're going to believe it, and you're going to make it come true. Now, the talent sure helped him with that, don't get me wrong. And right, then you got Michael Vick, right? a very talented football player. You know, in his game, you know, football, he was a very, very talented individual. And as far as mindset's concerned, I don't even want to know what was in his mindset, what he was thinking. Why, do you, Casey? <laughs> um, I got a rope on his chest, that's what this is all about. Um, so I don't even want to know what was going through his mind. You know, what kind of legacy is he leaving behind? He's leaving behind a legacy of a dog-fighting thug. People are going to forget about how talented he was on the football field. You see, he was never aware of how talented, or, or he was aware of how talented his, his football skills were. He was never aware of how many lives that he, he could have touched, he could have changed with his influence. Whereas Tiger was well aware of that. Michael, there's no way he could have been aware of that. For him to, to have done the things that he's done and to leave the unfortunate legacy of what he's leaving behind. So, that's my two cents. That's what I feel on that topic. Um, and, you know, Tiger's the prime example. I mean, you, you can look at tons of other athletes who have been nothing but class acts through their careers. And that's, like I said, it transcends their sport. It stems from the mindset, the awareness. 
Right? You can only gather influence, wealth, and position in life to the degree that your awareness will allow you to keep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day. My buddy Casey, my girl Bailey, wish you the same. Bye-bye.